me fix my stand a second because when we uh, when I showed you the picture before I set it on top of my glass and it's tipping my glass so let me stick it back underneath I didn't realize that and I guess you're not seeing that because <laughs> So let me um, get the switcher on so we can get this going and we will get this started. Okay, let me slide my, let's see. Yeah, let me slide this a bit. So you see, that's what happens when you adjust things and everything's out of scalder here. <laughs> So for now that that'll work. I can just reach. Um, so let me get the screen view where I can see what if people are on and let me share it to my page. Um, oh, and let me grab the image. I can be showing you the berry Christmas is what we're using what I have here on the table. Um, but I'll grab the image and show you that. So you look at that while I go ahead and I'll get people to the group or share it to my group. Uh, and I'm not certain which I'm coming live on. We were going to try and Get it to my page. Um, okay, I gotta go up here. I got too many pads running here. So I have got to get into my um, page. And let's see here. I'm on my tablet, so I'm used to doing it on my other thing. Let me see if I go into menu here, if I can get to my pages. Yep, so let's see if I'm live here. Yep, so let me share to my um, other pages. And it's just going to share to my exact page. Somehow I've got to fix that. Um, let me type this in case Tanya's not on here. or my husband have her share. For me. Because it's only telling me that I can share to the page it's already shared on, so I've got to fix that somehow. So luckily I have a daughter that's very computer savvy and she knows how to do all this stuff. So let me get back to my view and then we'll, we'll put you on the desktop and I'll get back in switcher. And there you have it. 
Um, so far, I don't have any comments. Um, I'm running this from my Chalk and Sew Crafty page. So, that's where you're going to find this tonight. So, I have four different colors of pillows. And we're going to... I'm not going to do the red and black because we did that one before. But I've got the blue one and I have the white and the black. Uh, still looks like nobody's on. So I guess I'll be deciding this. Um, I'm going to chalk in the red. And actually, this what this gray and black. That's oh hi Nancy. Can you see my different colors of fabric there? Sorry, I switched where we were doing it from. Tanya says it's better if I go live from my actual business page. So, and then I wasn't able to share it to my page. So. I'll see if she can do that. If not, this one just will be how it is for tonight. So, this would have to have the white. We could do white again, but my thought was to do red. So, I thought I would try red and not do the white, but those are the other patterns I have. So, tell me which one you want me to do. Should I do the blue or the, the white? and the black. And I don't know, was you on when I showed the transfer? It says Berry Christmas. We'll wait and see. I know there's always a lag, so you'll be able to answer me in a minute. And and we can move on. Let me put the uh, image back up on the screen for a second. So I'll So here's the image for anybody that didn't see it. It's called Berry Christmas. Uh, it's a little bit smaller image, but way, way cute. And so, yeah, so should we do the black and white check, Nancy, or the blue and blue check with the, we're going to use the red paste. So let me get you back on the screen here. We'll get this in switcher mode and then, so I'm gonna use the red paste was my thought. So red on, on the black and white or red on the blue. Either one would be cute. So, we'll see if it catches up here in a minute. In the meantime, I'll grab my uh, sheet back here and I can be showing that. This is a chalk couture. Oh, that's good that it worked. So, this is a chalk couture mat. It's for heat setting and doing inking with. And I'm still going to use it because I don't want the ink or the chalk paste to even soak through. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this up. So we're, Tanya, we're trying to decide if I'm using the, the black and the white. 
check this time with the red or the blue and the blue check with the red oh nancy says white and black okay that's what i'm gonna do then that's what i was wondering that's what's popular i just have the blue in my house so i can always do those later So, yeah, Tanya, thanks for b being an admin and helping me out with stuff. That's great. So, I'm, I rolled my mat, and I'm just sticking it inside here. I better put my lid back on my paste a minute. Now the paste I'm using is apple red. Or no, it's candy apple, sorry. I knew it's apple something. So Here's this. Let me kind of see what I think here as far as spacing. Um, now that my ruler's over <laughs> at the other spot. Let me grab my ruler off of my uh, other thing that I put it on. But I got it. That's why I'll be having spares. <laughs> okay. So. Let me turn this on the side. That was. Actually I had a pretty. Good guess on it. Now let's see this direction. It needs to go this way a bit, I think. Just a fraction more, probably. So I'm going to just... Try not to move this too much. Well, it's getting moved, I guess. I should have peeled that first. But I know my measurements, so we'll... We'll at least be able to get it more in place. Yeah, it's a little too far that way. This I'm not going to press it down until I figure this out. We are good, I think. That should work. So, I'm going to take my squeegee here. I'm going to grab my great big one this time. 
you want to make certain you have all the bubbles out of it and that it's sticking good to your fabric. So, and I think we're good. So, I'm just going to open my paste. And I'll just, this red's such a good consistency, I'm not going to mix it up again. But this, it's, I like to have it kind of like batter, cake batter. Um, some people like yogurt. But I really like how smooth this is going on. I was going to grab the angled squeegee, but this little one's working just fine, so I'll just keep using it. And I don't want to spill anything on there, so I think I'm going to bring my paste over here. Now this transfer is not as expensive as the last one, Nancy. It's a less, less expensive transfer. So I'll get all the excess off here. Just double check that I've got it spread on good here. And then I'm going to Put my lid back on my paste. Oh, that's not kind of on. It's going on a little crooked for some reason. Um, So, and I'm going to grab my mat. We've talked about this mat before, but this is, I can put my transfer on this so I can take it to the sink. And this is just, I don't know if you can't really, it doesn't have a name on it, but this is just a plastic mat that you cut. It's a cutting board. And I pick that up to lay my transfers on so that then I can take them to the sink. And they can be totally dry. But then I can use my sponge. Let me show you the sponge. So, the actually, it's a board eraser. Let me turn it the right way. So... We sell these board, er board erasers. They come in a two pack. And I've been using the one and scrubbing and scrubbing with mine. And it still has a lot of life to it. These work a lot better than the ones you can get in the store. So I definitely recommend these. So I'll just stick my transfer on here. 
And remember, you can grab, you can start from the sides, but you always want to pull from the center. On the red is way cute. I hope you can see that. I see one little spot there. I'm going to grab just a tiny, tiny dab of paint. Actually, I probably, yeah, I still have some on my squeegee. Actually, for the flannel, can't see that worked out better than the other, I think. It didn't pull up the, the, um, it didn't make it so fuzzy like the other one did. So, I, I love this. This, this is a way cute transfer. So, let me put the blow dryer on it. For a minute because we do have the chalk instead of the ink so we still need this to dry before I can heat set it Sorry about the noise. I tried to get the quietest blow dryer I could find. My old ones, any of those that I had were noisy. So this one's just a Conair Mini Pro. I like the nozzle on it too, because it kind of directs the heat. Hi, Erica. Glad you came back to join tonight. And this is way cute, isn't it? it? I'll show you the other one if you didn't see it at the end here. When we're done, I can show both of them. And then, of course, tomorrow or the next day, I'll post a final product. I've got to sew the... Uh, opening on the other one. I'm going to try and start keeping my videos shorter, not like last night. I apologize. I got carried away. didn't even realize that's how long we've been on, for one thing. But I'm going to try and start having more steps ready ahead of time. So things have just been crazy around here. Actually, that, that's dry to the touch. So, let me turn, I should have had this on. Let me turn the heat press on for a minute and see how, it, we'll give it a couple of minutes. Um, actually, while we're letting that heat up, Erica, I'll show you the other pillow. Hold on. But do you know what a heat press is? It's a, it's the circuit, um, I don't know if I ever pronounced that right, but it's a heat press. And then this is the mat that goes with the heat press. So I want to put that underneath here. And I don't know when you joined in, but there is a plastic coated board here. Um that is sticky that we carry that you put inside your pillow or other things. We have a square one and then we have a long one that works on long pillows. I also have a travel pillow that I sewed one for. So we can do that one if you don't wanna do it 
I mean, I could come back one more time if you guys want. If not, we, I can do that another night. But I have a travel pillow size. And so it'll be a little bit shorter. And that, this Berry Christmas could be cute on that travel pillow even. So we could just use the same image. Um, I just don't have it right here. So I'd probably start another live if if we want to do that but um so erica here's the piece on earth so can you see how cute that is i love this one this is a more expensive transfer though but it's way fun so let me Grab my, um, Teflon mats. The other thing you can use is just parchment paper. But I, I, I don't know if you, well, you saw my post earlier that I'm redoing my room. And who knows where, where the parchment paper went. So... Oh, so it's saying it's ready, so I'll put my heat press on here. The problem with the chalk, Erica, would be that you couldn't wash your pillow. It would just have to be a seasonal pillow. But I love how the chalk went on, but I'm just using flannel here. I think the ink works great if you're doing like uh, your calicos and that. And I've never even heat set the chalk. So we'll see what this does to it now that I'm... And I'm not going to leave it on real long because I don't think we need to. I'll turn off my heat press. I have that heat press set at 350 degrees. So you would want to, um, if you're just going to use an iron, Nancy, you would want to um, have it on one of your hotter settings. And Erica, because not everybody can afford a heat press. It was just easier for me because it, it gets the image done quicker than to try and iron these. If you were gonna do a lot of stuff, then I definitely would say get the heat press. In fact, I was debating between this and the big model that my uh, daughter-in-law has where you press the handle down on it and you put it in this machine. It's the like industrial type. And actually, it's about the same cost, but this is so portable. I can take this anywhere with me and it's not heavy like what she has. And I had no place to really put something that big. And then people couldn't see what I was doing in my videos, so. That's why I decided to go this other route. So I just roll up this mat, Erica, to get it in and out of there. So this is what the black mat looks like. So I'll set that aside. Let me just put it, I'll just put it right there. I think my new setup's going to be better because I have things more accessible and I can use my rolling chair to slide over to a drawer or and I'm trying to do more drawer type things so I think that'll be great and what I end up doing here. So 
here's my pillow form. I should show you that, Erica, and tell you these are called Crafter's Choice. I bought them off Walmart.com. Um, you can buy your pillow forms anywhere, but I got a great deal. There, I think there was six in a package for the price. And it almost seems like, I can't remember what I paid, but, and there was two different types of this Fairfield brand, and there was really not much difference in the price. So I tried them both. And when they got sent to me, I couldn't decide. So when when they're in the when I try the other brand, I'll have to tell everybody if I think there's much difference. But that's the way to get your pillow forms. You'll net you won't find a better price than there. Not even when they're on sale. Yeah, I'm excited about my setup. You know, now that we're in... You saw how, what it looked like before. Now my table's facing the other direction. So, instead of running up and down, it's... Everything's where the window was. I'm facing towards the door now. So I can see my door. And the window's behind me, Erica. So that'll give you an idea of my setup. One day we'll have to have a tour when I get it all better. We'll have a tour of the craft room and the craft hall. Now I have a craft hall. All my paper is out in my hall. And I like that because everything's just organized there. So it's a little harder to get in than if, if I wouldn't do the holes quite as small as I do, I need to make them a little bigger. This one, I think I got too small. The other one was okay. I usually try and do them about the same though. Yeah, I could fill a house, that's for sure. I I more than fill this house up. So here's the, hold on, and I'll get it more in view of the camera. So can you guys see that? How cute that turned out? I'll get it all sewn and put together, and then um, you guys will be able to see that better tomorrow. Um, let me know, do you want me to... Come back and do that travel pillow real quick. We'll have to end this and I'll start a new live. Or we can just call it quits for tonight. It looks like it's taken about 30 minutes. But we probably could do that other one a little quicker. If I just grab the pillow real quick. So let me know before I end this. And um, we can decide that. I don't know if your mom's still on, Erica, or if she left. 
I know she has to work, so she may would rather, oh, she doesn't work in the morning, though, so, so we could do one more since it's just a Saturday. I'm getting my days mixed up. So, I know we're on a lag here, so we'll see if anybody voices an opinion here. So, does, does everyone want me to come back with the travel pillow so you can see the difference in the size? Because it won't take very long. I'll use the same transfer. And this paste went on really easy. So we'll just do. Okay. I'll. Um, I'll end this live. Give me like five minutes to grab it. And we'll start over again. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, please like, share, and comment. And if you like this video and think you'd like to join my group uh comment me below to to join my vip group and i can send you a link to get you added to that group and so thanks for watching and please uh also i guess if you want to join my opportunity group i'm going to be getting that going it's a way for you to earn and make money by selling chalk couture yourself. The kit is under a hundred bucks and you get a lot of stuff for that. And some people just try it out and if they don't decide it's not for them, then they have some product to work for with and it's a great value. So please share and like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video i'll be back in a few minutes have a nice night